Alright, all right. I mean, can you stream in Discord too so we don't have lag? Oh, yes. I'm right here, I'm right here. Hold on. Yo! Sorry to Poppins. Okay. We are... Let's go down here real quick and then I'm gonna look at your UI. What the heck is all this crap at the top left of your screen, Emmy? Uh, that that's uh my my heel clicky thing that Vay set up for me, but I don't know what the fuck happened to it. Take that crap off. <laughs> we don't need that anymore. We're never healing again. What add-on is that? I'm, go to add-on. Go to add-ons. You were kind of yeah. Just hit escape and hit add-ons. What is it's, that? Buddha. Yeah. I think so. All right. Take that thing off. There we go. Okay, it's okay. gone. What in the what add-on is this that changed your health bar to that crap? Do you like that? It's something Vay gave me. Hold on. Okay, no, <laughs> it, it's it's healer stuff because then I could like see people's health in the middle of the screen. Ain't no way, Emmy. That you do you like? What? Do you like those huh? bars? I mean, no. Well, they're okay, but I don't want <laughs> them in the middle anymore. Maybe you should go back to like the default ones. How do I do that? <laughs> well, you gotta figure out. You gotta figure out what add-on that is first, um, and disable it. Oh God, chat! So, someone's gotta know, right? right. Is it shadow Try unit it. frames? Z. Wait. Try right-clicking the 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 thing and shadow see if it says what okay, it is. Yeah. Sometimes that reloads. That works. Okay, that's perfect. Yo, your your UI is looking good. All right, let's go hit a let's go hit a mob real quick. Oh shit! We're getting started. Um, did someone give you a two-hand weapon? Bastard sword, yeah. Yeah, use that. Sweet. We're two. Okay. We're, two we're, we're not using sword and board pretty much ever. All right. Streamer loot. Um, so you're gonna run up to this mob and hit it, and then you'll start seeing the weapon swing timers go off. When the oh, blue, yeah, when, when the blue one goes off, that's when you're going to attack. When the red one goes off, that's when the mob is going to attack. So, so I yeah. basically run until the blue bar is full because that's my next swing, right? If, yeah, if you're min maxing uh, on a warrior, you can do you can even do this with hamstring kiting, but these mobs are pretty slow. So try to go one for one hit on the mobs. One for one hits? What yeah, do you mean by that? Try to go one for one hit. So you have a really slow weapon. All the mobs in the game attack really fast. If you move away from them, their hit will be queued, but they won't hit you. So one for one hit mm. means when you run up to the mob, you hit them once and then you run until your hit is up and you run and back you run in back. and then hit them. Okay. Oh my God, this is just like League of Legends. This is I'm like, losing <laughs> th this is like an advanced warrior tip, but it's, it's nice because you could just let them hit you. But I want you to know how to do this in case that you need to do this. Like if you're getting low, right? Yeah, it's a min max and also, I mean, it does save time because then I don't have to heal as much. Right? It does. It so. does. Absolutely. You, yeah. you can mainly do it when the mobs are getting lower health. They'll start running slower. So when they start getting really low on health, you're pretty much always running and then running back in. And then you can hamstring them at, a, at like level eight. And then you can always go one for one hit. Emmy, what are you doing? Did you just... I just killed a man. You just mock around him? Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> oh, Let's really go, cool. Emmy. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I had seven health. Sorry, I was talking over you. You're you're uh, you're clutching. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought we were gonna have to restart the setup again. Good job, Emmy. Yippee! Jack, clip it. All right, I'm gonna give you a weak aura. This will always this will come up whenever you need to. Farewell. Battle shot Farewell. yourself. Do you have weak auras installed? Uh, yeah, you do. You do. Click on it. The purple thing. Yep. That one. Oh. Hit import. You click on the yeah the, the purple okay. part. All right, you see it jumping right there. That weak aura. Uh, hit wa again. Slash wa. M move the move this thing a little bit, out of the way. Like move this uh yeah to the left. There you go. Now you can move that where you want it. A little reminder right there. Okay, okay. Perfect. And then you can now you can move the weak auras back to the middle of your screen. So you can actually see him. Okay, good. Now you can exit out of it. Okay, now put battle shout on your bar. Yeah, I, I have it. Okay, F. Perfect. Now, as soon as you charge in, or if, if it's not on, you're going to want 100% uptime on that battle shout. So you're going to be pressing that a lot. 
Um, there's not too many weak auras specifically for warrior that you need. The biggest one right there is battle shout. It'll always, it is just, it's an annoying reminder for you to cast it every time it's about to fall off. That's the biggest one that I, biggest mistake that I see warriors. Let me give you this one. This is the tank announcer. Um, this will let your group know whenever, um, you've lost threat or whatever automatically. I really like this one. It tells, it tells your group that you have threat. And whether or not you want to tank, Emmy, the warrior all is always the tank. Whether or not you want to be, when you're leveling, DPS warrior is still a tank. You don't have to tank it in the raid, but you have to tank leveling up. It's like cardinal rule of warrior. Ever, some warriors don't think they're tanks. They're idiots. I don't want you to be one of them. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Every warrior is a tank. So don't run around telling people you're not a tank. They'll think you're an idiot. Oh, okay. I'll keep that, that in mind. Yeah, you don't want that. No, I don't want to be an idiot. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. But like in the raid, I'll be DPS. In the raid, you'll be DPS. You'll be a pumper. And we'll, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll teach you how to be top DPS. Don't even worry about that. Yeah, I want to be up I there. Know. Trust me. DPS is way more fun than healer. And then, and then you get to just talk shit to all the other uh, low DPS plebs because you're the best. <laughs> But what if I'm a low DPS pleb? No, you won't be. You, you won't, won't be. be. Don't even fine. think like that. You're undead. You're literally undead, Em. You're the best race. Like we, best have the, race. we have the we have the best players. Best race. Uh, best we race. have everything. Best players. Yeah. Did Soda the say the um points for uh like dying or like how much we would I lose? I think it's just one. I think it's minus one per death. Minus one? Oh, okay, that's no, not that bad. No, no, no. It's like minus thirty or or forty and per death. It, if you die, if you die before 30, that's like the worst case scenario. Like you get 10 points every 10 levels. So if you die before 30, you are, it's a net loss for the guild. If you die post, oh. post 30, you've earned as many points as you just lost. Okay. Well then, so dying late isn't bad for the, I mean, it sucks, but it's not bad for the guild. Yeah. I mean, it's still bad because we still lose those points. We lose all the points that you gained. So the right. way that the way that we're going to win this battle, the strategy here is to die the least. And how do you actually win? You have the least amount of players or the least amount of idiots. Right? And right <laughs> now, yeah. We got some pretty good players in the guild. Um except for you Jelly. That I, I don't know what we're going to do about her. She's oh, worse than Mary. I, you. Oh. Like it's bad. She's like Mary the first time that she played. She's like an extra Emily. Like, she's bad. And I, I, I don't know what we're <laughs> going to do about it. Because if she dies a lot, we're, we, are, we are screwed. We can group up. Work together. Yeah, I think we're what we said is we're going to literally assemble the undead secret service. And we're going to follow her around and make sure <laughs> she never dies. I might need Protect that too. But I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to not, you know, eat up resources. Yeah, we, we can send you a little bit of resources, but yeah, she she needs a lot. No, I, I'm a seasoned WoW player now. I don't need that much help. The, the main thing with Warrior is you always kind of have to play like you suck at the game. You know what? You don't want to get overconfident. Oh, easy. You I already do that. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I want you to be like, oh, is that a yellow mob? Uh, maybe I'll go kill this green one instead. You know, that's how you play. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. That's already That's perfect. Plan. You know, that's... I gotta what... get that out of my brain because I'm the opposite. <laughs> no, overconfidence like, that's, that's is the boss? only Hell reason yeah. you die. If you think that you suck, you will never die. That's well, how I you gotta approach the game. Too. Perfect. Well, it makes me feel a little bit better. So actually sucking might be for my benefit, No, it's right? an, it's an advantage for sure. Like just knowing it's a mental state that you got to be in, and that mean that means you're ready. All right, are you hitting a uh, battle shot every time that the warning comes yes, up? Sir. Perfect. You're it was only up better. for half a second. You are literally better than like 90% of warriors that I've played with. If you just press battle shout 100% of the time, you're literally better than most of the classic players. I'm not kidding. Thanks, Sardako. Um, your first time leveling warrior Emmy, I I probably would recommend you not to solo level. Oh. Um, just because having a like a, a healer or something, you know that mm -hmm. Mizkif would have died like a hundred times without you, right? Well, you I don't know because I think because I was there, he wanted to do more risky situations, so it'd be funny. He would have played. Oh, he would have played differently. Yeah. Handle it. 
Warrior Solo is the hardest leveling in the game and because you're not going to have, you know, overpowered weapons and stuff like that. Yeah. No, I, I knew that. That's why I picked it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know if people thought that. I didn't know that, but that's why I wanted to do it. I, I respect. Like, going in uh, going in for the challenge is, uh, is awesome. I, I'm glad that you're, like, approaching the game like that. I think I can solo up to, like, at least, like, 10, 15, and then I can group with people. You can. However... Yeah. It's the beginning levels that are that are the hardest. I mean, like one to ten, like one to one to eight is not bad. You think but so? I think eight to twenty-two on Warrior is by far the hardest. Mm. Um, and the reason, yeah, is no, I think at like ten, I'll start grouping with whoever I can find. It's down. That sounds good. Um, because you get hamstring at eight, which is helpful. Uh, but you get fear at twenty-two, and it's all about having your uh your bigger cooldowns mm -hmm. and the higher you get you know the more skills you unlock gotcha. and it just it just makes it safer okay when we get charged i'll help you set up that macro and then we'll do the weapon well sorry we'll do the the, the jump turns the jump turn strat um with weapon swing timer so if i just think that i suck i won't die always think that you suck yes no confidence no joy Nope. Only self-hatred. Level 60 on the on the mind, always. Nothing else matters but the mission, okay? Mission. I got a bag! No shot. You looted that? I guess. Nice. No, practicing is pretty good. Like, it, it, just getting to level 10 or something like that is good to, um, is good to prepare. And then that way you yeah. get all of your macros and stuff kind of ready to go. I mean, just having my shit set up should help a lot, too. The main thing on Warrior is uh, probably at level 8 when you get Hamstring. We could t show you how to uh, use Hamstring to go one for one on the mobs and to... Um... Oh, I, I think I already, pl I already played it. So you just um, you slow them and then use that to kite, right? Yep. That's and then you, yeah, you just kind of you kind of rubber band like League of Legends style, like flex yeah. the fight, go in, go out. Oh, no, I'm really good at that. I almost got Carpal Tunnel from doing that. Yep. You know. So I'm, I should be fine. Are you capping on your rage, Emmy? Are you even pressing heroic strike? Like, what's going on? Why do you have so much rage? I do have heroic strike up. I, I think it's because I'm not using E that much. Or not E. Um, yeah, heroic strike. Wait, Emmy, you have one ability. You gotta press it. But I don't need it. Do they die in like two hits? <laughs> <laughs> they could be dying in one. Oh yeah. The fuck is this? Yo, Yo. McConnell. We're doing uh McConnell. We're doing some warrior training for Emmy. We're setting up her macros and stuff. Yeah, I fucking suck, so. The so fighting getting fucking warrior training. Oh, I forgot McConnell has only played Paladin. Damn. For like twenty years. That's right. Wait, you you've played Warrior in Classic McConnell. Right? No one no, I haven't. Oh shit. Okay. Oh. You better hop in then. Wait, how much hardcore have you played, McConnell? Wait, not not a single ounce of hardcore? Nope. He's gonna get so pissed. Dude, you're getting smoked, man. I don't care how good you <laughs> think you are at WoW. You're dying. You, nobody makes them their first try. I, I got listed as I can a sweat. Do it on my first try. Well, I actually did list all the World of Warcraft players as sweats. But that doesn't mean that necessarily that they have a bunch of hardcore experience. It pretty much just means WoW is probably your main game. They were talking about how I killed Ozzy, how I'm a rat. Uh, mm -hmm. That's basically it. You did get him, kill, mm -hmm. uh, him killed, though. You, yeah. yeah, you did do that. That's fine. That's fine, guys. They're going to lose points every time I get one killed. That's plus one for the undead. Oh, true. We could do that. Like We have uh, literal like assassins over here. Grouping and then getting them killed. I've already, I'm already thinking about sending out you, Jelly, to go play with the torrents. <laughs> So she can pull a bunch of shit on accident <laughs> and scream, and then they're all dead. That, that would make for a good clip, I ain't gonna lie. Can we just send oh, her out into the world? Okay, uh, I've got Rend in charge now. Okay, all right, I'll give you this macro. Hold on a second. Uh, this is, so, Warrior, Warrior, you're gonna put start attack macros in pretty much all of your abilities. Um, I'll send you this here. You're gonna copy that. You know, do you know how to create a, uh, create a macro and all that? I'll walk you uh, through it. I don't re really remember. Should be pretty easy. Um, so copy that from Discord and then create new. Actually, 
Yeah, create create new right there. There's a button that says new at the bottom there. Um, okay, call it call it rend. Hit okay. Paste what I uh, sent you, and then hit save at the top right. There you go. All right, now you can put rend on your bar. There you go. So whenever you rend, this is just gonna start attack um, to make sure that you're always autoing. And now you're going to do that with pretty much every ability, right? So I'm going to send you another one um, for Heroic Strike. It's the same thing. So every ability I get from now on? Yeah. And then okay. eventually you're going to have three different stances mm -hmm. and you'll need to have the macros on on all of your bars. Okay. Wait, do I not need this for charge too? Or do you need I'll give charge? you the charge one no. here in a second. Charge okay. starts your auto attack. Um, so th you do need a, a macro for charge. It's, it, it, you don't Sir, need it right now, Darko, but you are going you to need it at, at level the link 10. I posted pretty please. Because if you're in defensive stance and you press charge, it won't work. You'd have to press battle stance first. Now this macro is going to press battle stance for you and automatically swap your stance. So okay. you always, you always want that macro. Okay, and then that, that's part of stance dancing, which you learn at level 10. Um, but really you learn more you learn that more at like level 20 once you um once you have tactical mastery from your points in the um in the talent trees. But anyways, every war you're gonna need everything macroed on a warrior because of the stance dancing stuff. There's some abilities that you can't press when you're in when you're in the opposite stance. God, yeah, I remember that from when I practiced before. It's just it's just annoying sounds, unless you macro it that all sounds in. Sounds hard. Yeah, <laughs> bro, I literally just only de defense or not defense, offense stance. So like, bro, this is too fucking annoying. So I don't even know any of the defense uh, things. These macros won't actually start doing what they're supposed to do until like level 10. But all the auto attack ones are in there now. So whenever you hit a button, you should automatically start attacking. OK, yeah, I remember it wasn't doing that for heroic strike before. Molten cores out in two weeks, though, or three weeks. So. We'll be doing mm -hmm. that for a little while. It'll probably take us two months to get ready for that. Um, at least with the people that Soda wants in the raid, and then and then we'll do that for two months, three months, and then and then Blackwing Layer will will be coming out. And and honestly, what what I wish um, Soda would do is like kind of um, we kind of get to raid log status and we see if we get, we have enough people to raid every every week and we just do a raid once a week. I think that would be fine. Everybody logs in once a week. We just do a raid and then that's it. Like when people are ready or... Yeah, we just, we do a raid once a week until Blackwing Lair comes out and we just be like an actual guild this time. Yeah, that's probably the best idea because otherwise people are going to forget how to play and fucking die. Like, like actually me. real. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I think it's great. And uh, the raids are actually really good content because uh, they have high chance of death and we're going to be under geared. Uh, we won't have a ton of world buffs. We won't have ZG. We won't have... Uh, Probably won't have um, Dark Moon Fair a lot, so it'll be nice. And our gear will suck. We won't have insanely geared players from ZG and AQ loot. And we might not even have Petri's, dare I say. I'm going to find Petri in the first week, guarantee it. I'm farming uh, Petri. I'll be able to probably get it before anybody else. I'm not even going to take one because I know I'm not going to remember to use it, so. But I'm only giving it to Undeads. <laughs> I'll give someone else. What? 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 Bro got disconnected. Yeah. Wait, were you fighting something? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Emmy, Manta? I'll save you. I got Bridge. you. Save Emmy. Emmy. I got oh, him, Emmy. Man. Don't worry about it. I logged onto the wrong character. Ain't no <laughs> way. <laughs> she's cooked. She's cooked. Wow, Forever that that mob cooked. was at five health too. What am I alive? Wait, did you actually did she wait die? Wait a second. Wait a second. We got to change your direct X. We got to change oh, the yeah, graphics. Oh yeah, yeah, that was an issue. That was an issue. Wait, is that why? Yeah. Direct X eleven. Yeah, tech. for some reason it's it's set to Direct X twelve for some reason, which can like yeah cause crashes and stutters and and shit. Oh well, good to know, I guess. Now the game's just not launching. I'm so fucked, bro. Yeah, good thing it happened now. This is why leveling in duos is better. Even if you think in hardcore, you can level alone. If you DC, you have your duo to protect you. And that's the, that was like the main reason that I wanted where, um, to level in duos. What, is what the fuck happened to my bars, bro? 
Your what macros it, reset oh when you no. yeah, the living. You didn't when, you, did, you have to log out after you change your settings or it doesn't say Yeah. You gotta redo oh. everything. Yep. Okay. What's the direct or whatever you said? Direct X? Escape, options, graphics, all the way down to the bottom. Direct X eleven. Done. All right. Well, I think that's all I should need to do before Thursday, right? Yep, that's pretty much it. Um, I was just going to do, as long as you know how to do the, the jump turning and then using the fence and then getting throwing weapons, those are the biggest things, but they come around like level eight is when you're going to get hamstring, when you can hamstring kite and then throwing weapons, you can get those as soon as you can buy them or train from the vendor. Okay. Um, Those are the biggest things. And... and stream cutting, I should be good on without help. Throwing weapons, I have no fucking idea, but I'll figure it out on Thursday. Perfect. You That's just train good. it. You just train yeah. it, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm sure chat will tell me. Well, thanks, Sardako. I'm ready for Thursday for Undead Gang. Hell Rose yeah, let's up. go. Yippee. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you all, uh, see you all soon. All right, see ya. All right, peace.